Hey, so I'm on my period. Thought I'd make a YouTube video about it, naturally. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's not a normal thing to make a YouTube video about, but it is very relevant to eating disorder recovery. I'm thrilled that I have a period. Didn't think it would ever happen. I was actually 17 when um, on, at onset of anorexia. And at 17, I hadn't already started my period naturally yet. But that wasn't really a big deal. Nobody was worried about that. I was perfectly healthy. Um, my family just tend to be late starters. I think my mum was a late starter and my sisters as well. So it's not like my family do doctor was at all worried about the fact that I hadn't started my period yet. And I just sort of started showing the signs of that well, maybe that was start beginning to happen. Um, growing boobs a bit, although I still didn't really grow boobs by the time I was 17, much to my devastation because all of my friends had them. Um, but hey, <laughs> that, that was what my body was, was doing. It was just starting to show shines of development at around 17. And then boom, anorexia, lost weight, malnutrition, all of that stopped. Um, and I didn't show any signs of, of n a natural menstrual cycle or even proper development um, at all for 10 years. Um, when I started to go through recovery, when I started to do nutritionally rehabilitate, a while after that, things did begin to happen. Grew boobs. You can't see them from there, can you? But they're there, promise. <laughs> Quite proud of them, as I should be. <laughs> Getting them in your late 20s. Yeah. So I grew boobs. That's fantastic. And um, I also started my period. That was a while after, actually, the boobs. <laughs> so my menstrual cycle took a, a bit of a while after other things have started to develop to, to come around and that's just because that's the way my body needed to do things. All of our bodies are different. Some people's bodies don't even lose their periods, which is kind of wild, but I've known it happen a lot. A person can be in a really severe state of malnutrition and they don't lose their period. Everybody's body's different. So you can't use your period to judge oh, I'm recovered, or oh, I'm well, or oh, I'm not in a state of malnutrition if you still have your period. Although many people do, and um, sadly, quite a few doctors do as well. I've even heard doctors saying things like, oh, you're just lucky because you don't have your period. Yeah. Um, if you don't have your period, that's not much to do with luck. That's to do with malnutrition. Having said that, if you still have your period, you can still be in a state of malnutrition. It just might be that your body is hanging on to your period. We can't judge what your body's doing or why it's doing what it's doing. Another thing that I think really trips people up is in recovery, in nutritional rehabilitation, their periods come back really early on. And that can trip people up because then they think, whoa, what? Does that mean I'm done? If your mental state is still indicating that you're in a state of malnutrition, so if you're still thinking about restriction, thinking about food the whole time, highly anxious about food. All of those things indicate that you are not done. And especially if your body is still underweight, you're definitely not done. So you can't use your period coming back as a sign to say, all this is done, I'm recovered. No, recovery comes from up here, mental state shifts. But also we have to physically, nutritionally rehabilitate fully as well. And that means getting your body to a point where it's unsuppressed, natural, healthy, happy body weight. And if you do those things, and if you keep doing those things, then your body will work out, your endocrine system will work out how it's gonna function, and your menstrual cycle will do what it needs to do. But if you are worried about that kind of thing, then you have to talk to a doctor, a medical doctor, who is really, really clued up around eating disorders. Sadly, if you talk to a medical doctor who knows shit about eating disorders, then they're probably going to give you some sort of reply like, oh, let's put you on the pill. Um, or, <laughs> or I, I don't know, I mean, I've heard so many things and it, I shouldn't laugh, but some of it is quite laughable. It, it's that bad. And I often get emails or um, messages from people saying, I'm confused. I don't know that I, if I'm still in recovery, or I don't know if I'm recovered yet. I'm like, if you're emailing me, I'm pretty sure that you're not okay. <laughs> if you're asking the question saying, am I okay or not? I'm pretty sure you're not okay. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, it's, it's not up for some external person to say to you, 
oh, you know, you're, you're not okay, you're, you're not there yet. If, if you don't know that you are, and if you're still feeling mentally like there's a shit show going on up here, then you're not okay. And <laughs> whether you've got your period or not, there's still work to be done. And that's really important, full nutritional rehabilitation. And do that neural rewiring that's so important as well. It's gonna help you get that mental freedom that you need. And that neural rewiring is going against the things that the restriction is telling you to do. The cat is playing with my hair. Stinky, why are you playing with my hair? I'm making a serious video about periods, Bob. Stinky doesn't get a period, so he doesn't care. He's a cat. Cats don't give a fuck anyway. <laughs> All right, so periods. It's a funny, funny, funny one. You can't judge too much by it. If you get your period, you're on the right track. If you didn't lose your period, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that you're not in a state of malnutrition. If you get your period, as I said, means you're on the right track. It doesn't mean you're done. Mental state changes mean that you're done. You'll know when you're done because you won't be wondering whether you're done or not. You'll be like, hmm, life, amazing, let's go. That's when you're done. <laughs>